Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Welcome to Woodstown Today for May 30th. I'm Brianna Buck Finley. And I'm Caleb Gerace. Juniors, have you scheduled your senior portraits yet? Now is the time to sign up for your senior portraits. Just go to prestigeportraits.com and select Woodstown, New Jersey, or use the appointment code that was mailed home. The first session begins June 19th. Taking these photos now guarantees your picture in the 2024 yearbook. If you have any questions, see Mr. Maslowski. Seniors, if you are planning on attending project graduation, your money and liability form must be turned in by Thursday, June 1st. Project graduation is sure to be a fun night that will include swimming, a DJ, henna art, a photo booth, a character artist, a mobile splatter room, and more. This event will also include catered food, desserts, and a visit from Mr. Softy. And don't forget the amazing prize auction with prizes including a TV, AirPods, gift cards, and so much more. Woodstone Day at the Phillies game is next week. Scan the QR code to buy the specially discounted tickets for the Tuesday, June 6th game against the Detroit Tigers. Tickets start at just $15 and they're going fast. Share this with your family and friends as everyone is welcome to attend. Portions of each ticket purchased benefits the Communications Academy. It's time for the final open mic night of the year. Say goodbye to the seniors and hello to next year's open mic crew. This Friday, June 2nd, take a moment to stop by and either perform or hang out and watch with your friends. Don't miss it. Now here's Thomas Boyles with the sports. The baseball team began their playoff run last Monday and scored an 8-7 victory over Cape May County Tech. Rocco String, Jack Holliday, and Ty Covens each had two hits. Jack Nor was a winning pitcher and only allowed one hit over the three and a third innings with eight strikeouts. They advanced to the quarterfinals to face Paulsboro last Thursday. The boys golf team won the Salem County tournament last week. Jacob Shermerham was the first overall in the Salem County shooting at an E1, and Patrick Morris placed second with an 85. The girls' track 4x4 relay team of Ari Still, Abby Melly, Kayla Ayers, and Katie Deal continued their success by winning their event at the Tri-County Conference Championship. Also at the event, Cole Lucas took home the silver in the 800. The 4 by 8 relay of Leo Covey, Gianna Myrony, Taylor Prendergast, and Bradley DiGregorio brought home the silver. And the 4 by 8 relay of Carson Chu, Dominic Melody, Bryce Ayers, and Jacob Marino took home the bronze. The softball team seated number 3 in the South Group 1 easily defeated Cape May County Tech 15-1 last Tuesday. The Wolverines had 16 hits, including four triples and a homer in the win. Pitchers Olivia Boltinghouse and Grace White combined to strike out 10. That's it for sports. I'm Thomas Boyles. Hi, I'm Katarina, and this week on Hot Takes, we're asking if you were a character from any TV show, who would you be? If you were a character from any show, who would you be? Winnie the Pooh. I would have to say Barbie because she had all the different jobs, so I get to try out everything. Carrie Bradshaw. I would be Olivia Pope from Scandal. I would definitely be Miss Frizzle from the Magic School Bus because she loves to take her students on adventures. I'm just missing the really cool school bus that's painted in all the awesome colors. Um, I feel like I'd be uh, Finn the Human from Adventure Time. G on you from The Good Place. If I were a character from any show, I would be Jackie Burkhart from That 70s Show. That's it for this week on Hot Takes. See you next time. And that's it for this week's Woodstown Today. For Thomas, Bree, and the rest of the Woodstown Today news team, I'm Caleb. Have a great week.